Hi guys. Well, something different today. I got a um, B6 AC charger. And no, it's not the original. I just knew that when I got it. <laughs> but I should know because of the price. But but it did it does charge as you can see here. LiPo charge. I got an 18650 battery. Well, if I start it, and it works, it's almost full, the battery, about 400 milliamps charging, but that's not all, if I stop this, and the other function I want to use it for is the discharge function, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Look at here. Zero, zero amps. And the battery just, it stays put. About 4.05, 4.04 4 volts. So it's almost full, yes. But it doesn't discharge. So what I think is that internal the discharge MOSFET is broken so I'm gonna open it I can show you the inside and maybe a fix a live fix because I just don't know but I could try it and recently I saw a video on I thought it was EEV block uh, about a, uh, a charger like this and it has a big uh, MOSFET uh, transistor for discharge, so maybe that's the problem. Let's have a look. Well, here it is. This is the inside. Oh, that's my lamp. And yes, it's a fake one. <laughs> and you can know it by this. The resistor rig from the balanced part, they're hand soldered. And they're not in line so <laughs> yeah but and this really really something <sighs> it's a joke but yeah it does work so why bother and but yeah this is the inside of it and yes looks decent this is the charger don't know if it's uh a switched or something or a linear I really don't know and I don't bother I don't know I don't gonna open it but I'm looking for the most fat there's one but it's from the minus no no this is the charge MOSFET I hope no this is the charge MOSFET I can see these are the, the uh, current shunts to measure the, the voltage and the amperage I mean, sorry. And yes, well, let's take the board out and see what's on the on the back side. Well, here is the back side, and if you can see, there are two uh, two transistors, and I don't know which one is which, but I think this one is the MOSFET. And maybe let's have a look. Maybe we can see it. This one, oh dear, is a, it's a 8705, of course, for the processor chip and the screen. And this should be the MOSFET. Let's have a look. And let's see, it's a, that's hard. Ah, there it is, an IRFZ44N. And yes, it's about 35 amp MOSFET. And I don't have 35 amps MOSFETs, but I do have good ones. It's a, what is it, CRF510. They have the same pin configuration, so it should be no problem. Let's solder it in and let's have a look. Well, there they are. 
And let's measure this one. This is the old one. Yeah, I broke a, foot, I broke a leg of it, but yes. And let's see. Oh yes, it's shorted out. Yeah, 80 ohms. 80 ohms. Between the, great, the gate and source, great gate and drain. And the other way, it's the same. Yeah, it's shorted out. Well, well, there's the problem, of course. No mention about that. Well, let's see the difference on the other uh, uh, MOSFET. So, so, that's the new one. And, oh, my tripod. And let's see the difference. Yes, there it is. Three mega ohms. That's what I wanted to show you. So there's the difference. And the other ones had just 80 or something ohms. So it's a wonder it didn't blow up uh, when I uh, tried to use it. But well, yeah. Uh, let's put it in uh, the device and let's try if it works. Well, there it is again. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Bang! No, just joking. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's put in the battery. My one of my many 8650s. LiPo charge. Yeah, let's see if it still works. Yes, one and a half amps. Yes, it's one cell, and okay, charging works, stop, and uh, what was it, oh yes, to the right, balance, fast charge, storage, discharge, 1 amp, 3 volts, and voltage, let's see what happens, look at this, it works, yes, I fix it. I'm good. I know it. Nice, nice, nice. So I was about to ask for a refund, but I don't think it's necessary. It works, it works, it works. All right. Well, let's close it up and use it. Well, there you have it. It's, uh, it still works, of course. Uh, storage, discharge, start, yes, one amp. Look at that, going up, going up. For uh, 600 milliamps, 700 milliamps, 800. And one amp discharge. Stop, because I was charging. Uh, start, oh, wrong button. Yeah, it's a neat, uh, neat charger. You can charge a lot uh, of batteries with it. Uh, light lithium polymer, lithium ions, nickel metal hybrid batteries, nickel cadmium, and uh, lead batteries. So yes, uh, also car batteries. Takes a lot of time, but it works. So, I, can, uh, I will have a lot of fun with this one. Even it's not a real one, but it should work okay. Just don't uh, leave it alone when charging. Otherwise, you could have fire in your house and you don't want that. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you want to discuss it, you can know it uh, in the comments below. Please subscribe for more videos. Uh, I have some more projects to uh, show you. And maybe I think it's next week I have something uh, interesting. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.